Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the Bama Standard here live with an update that you need to know about. I'm Justin Riley. With me is our lead recruiting analyst, Dan James of the Final Whistle. Why are we coming here today to entertain you guys? Well, it's simple. We just got a massive recruit from the 2025 class, Mason Short, right out of Georgia's backyard. Stole yeah. him completely away from Kirby Smart. This dude's a monster. Six yeah. foot eight. Sorry, six foot seven. Still pretty tall. Mm -hmm. 280 pounds. All offensive tackle. Eric Wolford is bringing in the big men to reestablish the dominance up front. Guys, before we get started in the meat of things, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Show us some love. Get in the comment section. Let us know how you feel because this is your channel. Dan, big news. Big news. Huge news, man. The comments made uh, by David Pollock at the uh, national championship game may have added <laughs> a, a few more years on the Coach Saban's career. You know, it kind of lit a fire like a pile of light went out and was burning mm -hmm. and figuring out. He, he, he kind of relit it. You know, so for him to – you know, go in the state of Georgia, in East Georgia at that, you know what I'm saying? You know, an uh, uh, hour and 45 minutes away from the uh, University of Georgia campus and, and pull off a recruit like this is it, similar to the Terrence Ferguson recruitment, you know, where the guys appeared to be uh, favoring Georgia, you know, and, and it kind of caught everyone else by surprise. It caught everyone else by surprise except the Alabama staff. Mason Short is a player. I project him as an interior lineman, I would say. He has the, the length, uh, you know, for a prototypical tackle. And let me tell you, man, physicality is there. He checks the boxes. Size, length, he checks all boxes. The type of old lineman that we've been recruiting lately has, uh, you know, changed a little bit. You know, we, we're getting length, we're getting size. We're going to a offense-driven type of player. And so we need those type of body type to be able to impose our will on other teams. So for him to go into East Georgia at that and get a player, you know, good, great job. Hats off to Coach uh, Wolford. It, it, it is huge. I, I can't state it enough, you know, the, uh, how massive this is, man. I mean, it's a huge win for Alabama. The recruitment course not over 20, 25 guy. And Georgia's not going to go away without a fight. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, it's a fight that I think Alabama will – eventually uh, win. He's going to be a, a instant impact on campus. And this does speak volumes about what Coach Saban is able to do. A lot of pundits have written Alabama off thinking that right. the ride is over. Right. And like you said, when people make comments, especially a David Pollock saying as much, it only gets him fired up. And right. things are things are changing right now in Alabama. Yeah. It's gravitating towards the make their ass quick or going yes. back to that. And getting the guys who embody that is is huge right now. That's why Eric Wolford is there. We got yeah. away from being dominant and physical up front. When Kyle Flood left for Texas, there was yeah. a massive drop off. Doug Marone right. ruined things. He wrecked shot. Right. right. And, the past two years, great job and being developed. <laughs> you know, the past two years, we've had to make up for those mistakes. Eric Wolford yeah. has had quite the task, but he said, based on what we saw before he got there, never again. Giving up yeah. forty sacks in one season, never again. Never again. And this is just another testament of of that fact that we are returning to dominance, getting to a physical style of play. Tommy Reese commands it because we're going to become very run heavy and we need the big uglies up front. And this, this is a young man. I <laughs> tell you when I was coming up, we, we didn't have offensive linemen built like right. WWE wrestlers. <laughs> and this kid is built like a WWE wrestler. Yes. Six foot seven, 280 pounds. And, and we've I seen mean, the lean. pictures. Yeah. He's lean. So, uh, not much body fat, just a right. solid built guy, a guy who's going to move bodies who's right. not going to sit back and let play dictate what he does. He's yes. going to dictate the play. He's going right. to be pushing people to the second level. Right. Huge get for Nick Saban and Eric Wolford. And he packs a punch. He's physical. Go and look at his film. Look at his huddle. He, he's physical. 
this guy seemed to have the head on straight, and I think he could be a leader in this class. A uh, tremendous leader again, six foot seven, uh, 280 pounds. Uh, yeah. Some places have him listed as 300. Either way, monster of a man. He's going to be the next wave of Bama greats. Uh, Mason, off Short, of <laughs> Mason Short and Sarah Lynn High School wide receiver Ryan Williams are the first two commitments from the 2025 right. class. Yes, that is a lot of time between now and National Sign Day, but – it speaks volumes. If we hold on to him, then yeah, we got two, uh, two, we'll two, our future. two major pickups. Yeah, one is a Auburn legacy, and one is you know from East Georgia. You know, <laughs> you know Georgia it, has won national championship the past two years, but yet yeah, Alabama continues to go in their backyard, right? And uh, taking what should be theirs, right? Not the case. So the firm grip that Kirby Smart presumably had on the state of Georgia is loosening up a little bit. So, huge get by Alabama. Looking forward to hearing some more names. But, Dan, yeah, we appreciate you giving us the 411. Always. You know, this is what I live for, buddy. (laughs) Yes, sir. Stay tuned to this channel for more updates. We're going to be having a lot of recruiting news coming your way because it is that time. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, folks, roll tide. Roll Tide.